heading out to uh, Livingston, Montana. I'm going to record some of the trip, not all of it, but uh, it's about 40 degrees outside. I got 47 on my car thermometer, but I think that's probably because I was indoors. So I'm heading out. Time to play with some clay. All right, got my business, a local business done and heading to uh, Livingston. Regular is 272 here in Ennis, Montana today. It's not too bad. Cloudy. But at least the roads are drivable. This used to be, when I first moved to Ennis, a really winding two-lane two road, which was extremely dangerous. But now it's just a beautiful drive. It took a long time for them to build this uh, road. The old Bozeman Trail, where the uh, stagecoaches would go, is over there on that hillside. and. Uh, you can still see the cut in the side of the hill, but you can't today because, well, there's part of it. You can see part of it, I think. Anyway, that's where the uh, wagon trains and stagecoaches would, would come up into the valley is across this uh, pass. They figure that humans have been coming through this area for over 30,000 years. Pretty mind-boggling when you think about it. Of course, they didn't have the paved roads back then. still see ice on the river here where the water is not quite as flowing as uh, the, the main part of the river. This bridge up here, when they were building the bridge, I was taking my son to Bozeman and my truck broke down right here and we got to watch a bunch of archaeologists digging up uh, the remains of an old toll house that used to be right here where the uh, bridge starts over the bridge the river here right there in the river there's a couple of uh, spots in the river a pile of rocks that was the uh, pilings for an old toll bridge that used to go across the uh, river there 
for the wagons and the uh, stagecoaches and everything else. covered in buffalo at one time. Thousands and thousands of buffalo would roam out here. This was Blackfoot country. Blackfoot Indians were not friendly to white men. And uh, if you were caught out here, you were dead 200 years ago. Well, this is where I'd turn off to go to the uh, boundary that I had been using for 30 years until it closed down a few years ago. Now it's the rest of the way to the other boundary, the Boyer Bronze over in Livingston, Montana. I have to go through a canyon. <laughs> a beautiful canyon, by the way, and a pass. Hi guys. It's morning. Yeah, it's morning all right. Is it morning? Just the afternoon. Oh, good afternoon. Oh, 1220. <laughs> being, being the old man's thing, we, whenever well, we see each other, we have to say good morning. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yep. Nice horse. Who did this one? Uh, Stephanie. I don't know her last name. Yeah. I love that style of sculpt sculpting. Wow, Loose. Good. I wish I could achieve that. Yeah, that, you're pretty tight. I really like your style. I know. I'm tight, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. This is a bronze that uh, has been in storage for years. We're just checking to see if uh, it's in good shape. They had a foam packer over there. Oh, it looks good. I just needed to know which side was up, and it looks like it's laying on its side. Oh yeah, it's real safe. Okay, I, it'll be fine. Yeah. That's a nice job of packing. You know, they had that foam packer over there, and that was beautiful. That's worth it every dime. Oh, yeah. All right, I've got uh, Cowboy Serenade is sitting in the front seat, and I've got Night Sentinel all wrapped up in a blanket there, and uh, my. Uh, my sculpture called Bonding, uh, anchored down with a screw on my, you know, on the floor of my back of my car here. So everything's ready to go back to Ennis. All right, that's it for today. I got a good bit on the uh, bonding clay, and I've got the two bronzes loaded up tomorrow. I'm not sure. The next day, day or two, I'll be working on that clay of the uh, warrior uh, because I've got to take photographs of these two bronzes, and uh, I've got a gentleman uh, coming over to help me photograph them. I need somebody to help lift them up onto the sculpting stand because one of them is really heavy, and uh, so it's probably going to be a couple days before I get back to sculpting, and uh, but I got to take care of these things before I. And do anything else okay um it was a good trip it's gonna be a good trip going back and i'm gonna stop at mcdonald's and get me a burger all right see you guys next time good night
If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.